Uh, my name is Greg Cologne, and uh, I'm originally from Orlando, Florida. And uh, you know, in 2014, my life was changed. But before before my life was changed, it was nothing but a wreck. Um, I always wanted to be a Marine, and so when I was 23, I joined the Marine Corps. And my wife, my wife Stephanie, we got married, but uh, our marriage wasn't good from the start. It was shaky. It was, you know, full of arguments, full of rage. I mean, uh, my life, my life was filled with bitterness, unforgiveness, and then that just, that just built, built and built and built to where I was. It, I didn't want anyone to be happy because I didn't have a joy in me. I, 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 would, I would rationalize or pr re prepare myself for an argument or, or to, be, uh, to look for someone's downfall. And so I joined the Marine Corps so I can legally hurt people or, uh, you know, it'd be to feed my rage in, in a legal manner, hiding behind the guise of being a patriot. And I love my country and I would do it all over again. But the reality was I was being driven by this anger. And so in 20, 2014, I just came back from Afghanistan and uh, I was at work. I was working on a, a Marine Corps air station and I told my boss, I said, today I'm gonna get a divorce. So I went home and uh, I began to dial a number to finalize a divorce for my wife. And as I began to dial uh, that number and the phone was ringing, I heard a knock on the door. And so I, I go to the door, I hang up the phone, and this gentleman, I'll, n I'll never forget him. Um, he, I want to say he was about 6'2". His hands were greasy. And uh, he, he says, hey, how you doing, man? I said, man, I'm doing good. And he, he says, I, uh, I just want to ask you two questions. And I said, uh, yeah, what's that, man? And uh, he says, do you believe in Jesus? And I said, yeah, everyone believes in God. Everyone believes. And then, uh, and then I felt like God slapped me, to be honest with you. Because then he asked me, well, if you believe in Jesus so much, what would he say about your life? Would he say that the life you live, it would, it would display the beliefs you speak? And I said, yup, and I slammed the door in his face. So the reality was, like, I was just hiding behind a facade of religion. So I was raised in church and I, I can look right, I can say the things, I can quote scripture and I can do all these things. But the reality was I was just good at justifying what I wanted in life. And but God began to deal with my heart and I didn't get a divorce. But my wife, she found the flyer and she says, if we want our lives to change, we have to do the one thing we never did. And I said, what's that? She said, we got to give our life to Jesus Christ. So we went to this church, and I heard the gospel, and God began to deal with my heart. And after two months of, of uh, what I would call faking Christian, because that's what I did. I was just trying to catch people in a lie, prove that they were liars and they were just like me. God caught me in a lie. And I got saved. That alcoholic, that man who, who would smoke a pack of cigarettes in a night, that man that tried to find things to uh, mask what he was really dealing with inside and how his life was falling apart, was now liberated. I was set free, that rage, those chains of addiction, they were literally broken. Not because of some 10-step program or some self-help book that I read. No, it was because Jesus Christ set me free, gave my life to Jesus. And I'm so glad to be able to tell you that right now, that woman that I was going to get a divorce from, we're still married, I have two children, and God has radically transformed our lives. And now we're living in Fredericksburg, Virginia, and uh, uh, pioneering a church, pastoring a church there, the Potter's House. We want to invite you because the reality is we all have stories of how we, we try to deal with the pains out of our heart. They might be different, but the reality is without Christ, there's always a void. We want to invite you to, to experience the transformation that he calls us to walk in the liberty that, that is through him. And so if you're, not, uh, if you're not saved, I invite you to give your life to him. God bless you, and I'll be happy to Hi, my name is Greg Colon, and uh, we're pastoring in, in Fredericksburg, Virginia, at the Potter's House Church. And we would like to invite you out. And if you would like any information, please give us a call at 571-264-7542. Thank you, and have a good day.